Appointments by President William Ruto appear to have significantly quelled the political temperatures following the inclusion of regional kingpins. In Western Kenya, for instance, former Kakamega Governor Wycliffe Oparanya boasts of a stellar political career and had a decorated stint in late former President Mwai Kibaki. Oparanya hails from the same region as Prime Cabinet Secretary Musala Mudavadi and Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Wetangula and faced off in the 2022 polls as they supported two opposing camps. Just what does it mean for the, to the two? Will they harness the Louis of vote for President William Bruto's re-election or will they revive their sibling rivalry? Alan Ochanda puts this into perspective. When Mama stunned loud that a section of the ODM party leaders was destined for President William Ruto's cabinet, the name of former Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya sufficed a lot. And when the head of state stepped forward to an expectant country, the man who was in charge of planning in the Kibaki administration was nominated to spearhead the cooperative's docket. The head of state may have gone for Oparanya to breathe life into one of his pet projects, but to political quarters, it is a big catch. In getting Oparanya on fold, uh, in the fold, uh, inside his cabinet, the president is looking at 2027. And don't underestimate Oparanya. Oparanya may not be a good orator, but I tell you that man is a schemer. He's a strategist, the way he does his things. And so to control Western, Oparanya, you cannot compare Oparanya with the Namwamba, Nahumija, all these people. Oparanya has a lot of grassroots cross network already. And now you are giving him more leverage by making my minister for cooperatives. The soft-spoken former governor hails from the same region as Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi and Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Wetangula. The trial had no soft words for each other during the 2022 general elections. As to whether it is a tactic to checkmate each other, yet vouching for the president's re-election also makes fodder for political stages. I don't think I will be saying that uh, appointment of uh, Oparanya will now wipe out Wetangula, will wipe out Mudavadi. Every person has their own following and they do have people who like them or ascribe to them. When we were campaigning in 2022, were we looking to be in opposition? No. Oparanya is not competing with Musali. They are competing over what? Musali is uh, uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary and Minister for Foreign Affairs. Oparanya is Minister for Co Cooperative. Wetangula is the Speaker. They, I don't see where they converge, where there can be a collision, a co collision. Completely, they don't converge anywhere. Everyone will serve Kenyans in his docket. We support all the positions that the president has offered to the people of Mulembe, and we thank the president for that. We want to ask those leaders now who hold offices in trust now to come down and listen to the people. To Naomba Musalia, Wewe Musalia, Wetangula, Oparanya, Sasa Murudi Chini to skia wanainchi wanataka nini. Anybody who thinks that now he's coming on board, will make him Davadi look lesser or not, that is not the case. What we want is a one Kenya, a united Kenya, and a united Western region. This time we want all votes from Western region to be in one basket of William Samoy Ruto. Given his decorated stint in the Kibaki administration, his best felt he would steer the national treasury but settled for the cooperative's docket. Although the shake-up also saw some leaders like Ababu Namwamba fall off the cabinet, they say it is still a win-win situation. You consolidate the effort of Oparanya, Wetangula, and Musalia Mudavadi. You create a strong political bargaining force in the government for us to secure development. We are also happy that uh, since independent, the community has actually gained under uh, Ruto's leadership. From independence, we didn't have Commissioner General KRA. We have a Commissioner General KRA from the Luyo community. From independence, we've never had an IG. We have an acting IG now in office, who is actually the deputy IG. Uh, from independence, we have never had a DPP. We have a DPP from the Luyo community. We are gaining. Let's gain more. As the realignments take shape, a section of youthful leaders from the region have decried what they term as a leadership vacuum in the region and have kicked off with a series of consultative meetings. We have invited even our elder brothers, uh, Honorable Moses Masika Wetangula, 
uh, Honorable Musaliam Davadi, because they are our leaders. We've told them this is a meeting for your people. So you cannot be leading people and you're running away from people. So we've, uh, I've talked personally to them and asked them to attend this meeting so that they can come and listen to their people. Ah,